That's not so good. Oh, how am I looking here? What is up, guys? I'm John the Potter. So good to have you in the studio today. We have been in the studio. It's, we're probably going on like hour 10 today. We have been throwing a ton of pots. I'll put in a picture of all the pots. Uh, this kiln is running. It's a full bisque. It has like at least 100 some pots in there. So that's what that clicking sound is. You hear that clicking sound? Those are the relays that are, those open up and then close and then that's what f turns the heating elements on. Anyway, this is not a kiln lesson video. This is a kiln unloading video. So this kiln is full. It's at 114 degrees right now. So we are gonna unload it. It's got some very exciting things in there. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video. Sorry, I didn't prepare. I'm probably sweaty. It's hot. It is very hot in this room right now, so I apologize if I if my appearance is not camera ready, as one might say. This is how I look after 10 hours in the studio and many, many, many pots thrown. This is Future John here, wanting to let you know that our next online sale of pots is gonna be Tuesday, June 30th at 6 p.m. We have all these pots going up for sale, so if you wanna buy a pot, check it out. Let's unload this thing. It's gonna be really exciting. I got this new thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I introduced this Insanity mug, right? So these Insanity mugs have been fired multiple times. Usually I fire them upside down. Sometimes I'll fire them like once normal, then once upside down, then once again. And it's just like getting some like crazy results. So this is what they look like. So this, I just pulled this out of the kiln right now. It's an Insanity mug. This. That's what I'm calling, that's my name for it, Insanity Mug. Super, like, it's really quite unbelievable. I'll put in some pictures. I just can't get over how sweet they look. So the bottom is totally glazed. The entire pot is fully glazed. It has this in here. If you, wa if you watched my last video about how to fire pots upside down, that's what I did. Look at all those micro crystals in there. Woo! So awesome. This one I think has a crack right down the bottom. But I, I knew that and I fired it anyway just because I was like, you know, anytime you can try and replicate results. So there's three of those. Those are so cool. So cool. Very happy. Those insanity mugs, they're, I can, I can only do a few of them and they, a lot of them break, like don't work, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. The insanity mug, look out for them on the next restock. All right, so this is stoned denim. I'm gonna move the camera. Whoo, how does that look? So that's stone denim over winter wood, so that's the stone denim on the bottom. Those are Minnesota mugs for um, at the Mocha Monkey. This is the stone denim with the winter wood on the bottom. So these two are the same glaze combo on the top, but this one is just has winter wood all the way to the bottom. This one has stone denim all the way to the bottom. Got some more of those guys. That's like probably my favorite blue and it just works all the time. Like every single time it comes out and works really well. No pinholes, no other issues. We just have a bunch of little Minnesotas for magnets that we sell. All right, here we go. Here's some, ooh, so this is shipwreck. This is uh, Mako shipwreck with sandstone over the top. It's okay. I, I often use these little planters as testers just because there's this lavender mist with sandstone. I got a bunch of those in there. That looks really good. Here's a new one. This matte, this is matte black with Aurora green over the top. And it just turns out really black. But if you like black, it's like glossy black and then matte black on the bottom. That's pretty cool. And then here's a little, that must be Norse blue over winter wood. I love that combo. It turns out so like vibrant and beachy. This one must be, totally forgot what that is. It's Norse blue, something with Norse blue. Oh, here is, this is the lime shower. Ugh. That's not so good. Huh, don't like that. <laughs> that is a glaze that I just must have to combo with others. Huh, I really liked that Aurora Green over matte black the first couple times I did it. But yeah, this this has brand new elements in it. I, I replaced the elements over the weekend and this is like turning out, everything was turning out way better. Although now these tests aren't quite as good as I. This is a little weather blue, weather blue over winter wood. That's kind of cool. Interesting, can't say I love it. And then this is the raspberry mist over winter wood. So, so far those planters aren't like my favorite planters that I've ever done. But they'll look good once we get some plants in them. 
All right, then we got the final bottom shelf. Sweet. Those are super cool. Aurora green over sandstone. Probably one of my fave glazes. It absolutely is one of my favorite glazes. Bunch of little micro crystal growth in there. That looks sweet. I also put a little bit of, was this the one that I put flux on? Yeah, so I'll put in a picture of before, but I put little dots of flux on there so it would kind of drip more. And then I put some flux on the inside too so that it would kind of like drip more on the inside, which I was just, just kind of testing it out and that worked. I thought there was a chance it would maybe just totally drip off, but not do that. Oh yeah, there's another, I'm excited for, there we go. Those are cool, those are really cool. Bunch of these Lavender Mist Minnesota mugs. We're stocking up on these. These are mostly for the coffee shop. And then this is the this is the glaze combo that I was really excited about. So this is um, Sandstone and then Aurora Green and then Norse Blue. And so we got some drips going on there. I like those a lot. I like how it gets that toasty color right when it gets near the glaze and like up at the top, that's really cool. Not all clay does that, but this buff stoneware gets like this toasty color. Toasty brown. Yep, got a nice big drip there. Those are cool. It's a nice, it's a nice color. I haven't done that in a while. I haven't done the where you leave the bottom unglazed. Ooh, there we got a nice drip right down to the bottom there. Where you leave the bottom part not glazed, so it's just plain clay. I always like it. I think some people like it, some people like it, would rather have it be all glazed. What do you think? Do you like the, do you like that combo where no glaze, drip glaze? I mean, I just love being able to get a consistent drip and not have it like drip off. Whoo, nice. Well, friends, there's a few more lavender mist mugs in there, but we pretty much got, they just look like that. So I don't, I won't bore you. Oh, it's so hot. I am so sorry that I'm so sweaty and I probably look terrible. So right now, before that we were at 1300 pots this year. So we'll probably be not quite at 1400 yet, but this will get us close, sir. And I was just gonna show you the rest of what we did today. Tomorrow we gotta glaze all those. We threw some plain mugs right there, threw some marbled mugs right there, making a video about those. Threw some pink marbled, a couple bowls, pour over, a couple more marbled stuff, gotta flip those over. So it was uh, one of the more productive days in the studio that, that I've ever had. And these insanity mugs, watch out. These, uh, I think these are gonna go quick whenever they start going up on the restocks. Cause they are, they are something. They are something. I'll show you a couple more. This one, that was another one that came out the other day. This one was also an insanity one too. Slightly different colored. Um, but the first ones that came out, these ones look a little different too. We're like this, I'll put in a picture of these too, but just, the insanity mug. It's like I've never seen anything like that. Even really come out of like, it's so metallic -y and shiny and like, so cool. That's it. I got some great, great wealth, more well thought out videos coming pretty soon that I was filming today. I was filming some good ones. So I'll be back soon with some more great videos for you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Oh wait, forgot to tell you, if you hit that like button for this video, that really helps me out. And uh, as always, subscribe and comment and share. And I hope you're potting and you're making something and you're succeeding in whatever you're doing. So I love you all. See you in the next video.